The Nigerian Army Corps of Military Police is a department of the Nigerian Army that is charged with the responsibility of protecting the Nigerian Army personnel, properties and assets, whether in peace or war. It is responsible for policing duties like criminal investigations, detention operation, law enforcement, escort duties, crime intelligence, access control, and disciplinary actions within the Nigerian Army. Prior to the administration of the present Chief of Army Staff, Lieutenant General Tuku Yusuf Buratai, the Nigerian Army Corps of Military Police has never gotten a permanent office complex. This warranted the Chief of Army Staff, who is bent on bequeathing Nigerians with an army that is professionally responsive in the discharge of his constitutional duties, to approve resources for the establishment of the military police headquarters. The Provost Marshal of the Nigerian Army Corps of Military Police, Brigadier General Husseini Hamid, posited that since the establishment of the Nigerian Army, this is the first time the Nigerian Army Corps of Military Police will be having a permanent office complex. Yes, this structure you are seeing right behind me is the proposed headquarters for Nigerian Army Corps of Military Police. It's located at Shehu Musare Radwa Barracks here in Abuja. You know, since the military the army headquarters moved from Lagos to Abuja in the early 90s. The military police has no office, permanent office headquarters. So the chief of army staff, in his wisdom, decided to have a befitting structure for headquarters, Nigerian Army Corps of Military Police, here in Eradua Barracks, to fulfill his vision for the army, which is to have a professionally responsive army. Nigerian Army in the discharge of its constitutional role. This building you are seeing is being done under direct level and the Chief of Army Staff, I want to appreciate, appreciate, appreciate him for providing the funds for the military police to have a befitting headquarters here in Abuja. This building has about 82 or more offices and we believe for future projection, the offices here are adequately enough to accommodate the headquarters elements of the military police. Brigadier General Husseini Ahmed, while taking Security Watch Africa on the tour of the almost completed structure, stated that the building has over 80 offices, including conference rooms, crime laboratory, and other intelligence and forensic units. that the world-class edifice has offices with a futuristic extension and harness. He said that due to sufficiency in the fund approved by the Chief of Army Staff, Lieutenant General Tuku Yusuf Buratai, the Nigerian Army Corps of Military Police was able to include an harness structure to the project, which was not in the initial plan. This will serve future purposes in case of need for an extension. The Provost Marshal listed some other ongoing projects and newly approved ones by the Chief of Army Staff, Lieutenant General Toku Yusuf Buratai, which include the redesign and restructure of the Army Headquarters Special Investigation Bureau, provision of new operational vehicles, 
tracking the vices and orders. Actually, when the money was released, it was only this structure that was approved was on the original design. But we found it wise with the money being released to us, we decided to go a step further to have an annex. That's this particular structure you are seeing, an annex to the building for us, thinking ahead so that in the future, we don't start looking for where we will move our headquarters to. Because we are anticipating that in the next few or 10 years, there are certain expansion the court needs to do in terms of forensic investigation, forensic uh, uh, investigation department and what have you. So we decided to have more offices so that when it is being approved by the chief of army staff, we already have the offices on the ground. He further spoke in praise of the chief of army staff, Lieutenant General Tuku Yusuf Buratai, for his commendable performance. If you look at all the corps of Nigerian army, unlike what we have in the past years, I bold, I wish to tell you that yes, the chief of army staff has achieved what we do apology, we do respect to the former chief of staff, have not done in the last 100 and something years, even since when the army came. But in the four years of his existence, he has given the army the best and more is still coming. On behalf of the officers and men of Nigerian Army Corps of Military Police, I want to most respectfully and sincerely from the bottom of our hearts thank the Chief of Army Staff for giving us the best uh, office complex, not only office complex, but in facilities. That he has given us vehicles and we still have more that we are waiting for the budget so that we can get what he has promised to give us. So I want to sincerely appreciate him. And we pray that God Almighty will continue to bless him, guide him, and give him strength in the serving of humanity, the Nigerian army, and Nigeria at large. Shirley Daniels, Security Watch Africa, Abuja.